The human species is soon to see the first picture of that mysterious, iconic, and paradoxically invisible object Princeton physicist John Archibald Wheeler dubbed a black hole that lurks at the center of our galaxy. The Event Horizon Telescope is a virtual telescope the diameter of the Earth and has been pointing at the Milky Way supermassive black hole for the past several years. The Gates of Hell, the End of Space Time, is the story of the Event Horizon Telescope's ongoing efforts to create a photograph of Sagittarius A, our Milky Way central black hole. When completed, the image will rival the famous Earthrise photo taken by Apollo 8 astronaut Bill Anders in 1968 and the pale blue dot photograph from Voyager 1 in 1990. But what will we actually see? We have an amazing preview from a vast distant galaxy, which I'll discuss below in a minute. Astronomers began speculating about these omnivorous dark stars in the 18th century. And since then, indirect evidence has slowly accumulated. Scientific speculation about these enigmatic objects have ranged from their giving birth to our cosmos to being portals to another universe. Researchers at Canada's Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics physics, have proposed that the Big Bang could be the three-dimensional mirage of a black hole, a collapsing star in a universe profoundly different than our own. The EHT team is intent on getting a photograph of the Milky Way's Sagittarius A soon, said EHT director Harvard's Shep Doleman, after the release of the first ever image of a supermassive monster the size of our solar system on April 10, 2019 the elliptical galaxy M87's gargantuan black hole, an object the size of our solar system. We are giving humanity its first view of a black hole, a one-way door out of our universe, said Dooleman, about the release of the image of the six billion solar mass black hole as it was 55 million years ago. The picture was a landmark in astronomy, an unprecedented scientific feat. Making an image of a black hole doesn't come easily, said Dolan. But we consider ourselves to be explorers. We exposed a part of the universe that had never been seen before. This is the geometry of space and time being led bare to you, he said. You are seeing the gravitational well of the black hole. Einstein's theory of space-time was stress-tested under conditions of extreme gravity, and it held up. Einstein's suggested that a massive object like the Earth could bend the fabric of space-time around it just a little, like placing a golf ball in the middle of a taut bedsheet. But a black hole has such enormous gravity that it would rip space-time fabric apart. In theory, you can make a black hole out of almost any amount of mass, as long as it's squeezed tightly enough to be sufficiently dense. If you look at a baseball and crushed it, if you took a baseball and crushed it down small enough, eventually it would rip the fabric of space-time apart. The world was transfixed when the first ever image of a black hole shown was above was released. To be more precise, the picture shows the bright circle called an Einstein ring, made by the light that just barely escaped the grasp of the black hole's immense gravity. This ring of light was due to the fact that according to general rel relativity, the fabric of space-time itself becomes so contorted by the mass of the black hole that it acts like a huge lens. Our understanding of black holes remains incomplete because the theory of general relativity, which is used to describe the laws of nature at the scale of stars and galaxies, is not currently compatible with quantum mechanics, our best theory of how the universe operates at very small Planck scale levels. Since black holes, by definition, have a huge mass compressed into a tiny, infinitely tiny space, reconciling these wildly successful but so far conflicting theories are needed to understand them. The M87 image portrays the gates of hell, the end of space-time. Everything unfortunate enough to get close to it falls in and never emerges again, including light itself. It's the point at which every physical law of the known universe collapses. Perhaps it's the closest thing there is to hell. It's an abyss, a moment of oblivion. The now iconic image marked the culmination of years of work undertaken by a team of 200 scientists at 59 institutions across 18 countries. The EHT project drew on data collected by 10 telescopes from Hawaii to the South Pole, sprinkled across four continents, designed to span the cosmos and radio waves, creating the equivalent of a lens the size of planet Earth. 
a lens 4,000 times more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope. Astrophysicist John Levin, author of The Black Hole Blues at Columbia University, observed that we are seeing the M87 black hole as it was 55 million years ago. And over those eons, we emerged on Earth along with our myths, our differentiated cultures, our ideologies, our languages, and varied beliefs. While we wait for the image of Sagittarius A, we actually have a new image of our galaxy's violent center, similar and important to the EHT's image of the M87 monster. The image below shows the view of our galactic center from the Murchison Wide Field Array in Australia's outback, showing what our galaxy would look like if human eyes could see radio waves. The lowest frequencies are shown in red, middle frequencies in green, and the highest frequencies in blue. Huge golden filaments indicate enormous magnetic fields. Supernova remnants are visible as little spherical bubbles, and regions of massive star formation show up in blue. The supermassive hole at the center of our galaxy is hidden in the bright white region at the center of the image. The black hole was an object that was predicted to exist 100 years ago, said Andrew Strominger with Harvard's Black Hole Institute. The fact that it's taken us 100 years to get a clear picture is a measure, measure of how huge the problem is and with what precision and depth we're now understanding the universe around us. It's something I've been thinking about, he said, my entire scientific life, and now I've seen it. Meanwhile, we await the EHT portrait of our Milky Way's very own gate of hell that has, existed, that has existed for eons before our emergence as a sentient species that today seeks visual proof of its existence. Val Landy signing off.